أسعد الله أوقاتكم. Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about Quercus calypriens, which is one of the oak species. It's called the scientific name Quercus calypriens, a Palestinian live oak. ويدعى باللغة العربية الكومن نيم اسمه بلوط فلسطيني. It is native to Palestine and to this region. Mostly in the northern mountainous regions of Jordan and Palestine, and also in the hilly regions of both the in Jordan and in the mountainous region of Palestine, uh, it's an evergreen tree. It's slow growth. After a while, it gets fast. Uh, it's in the high regions of the Mediterranean. Uh, it loves red. Terosa soil and it's an ideal plant with a beautiful high canopy and today I'm gonna start drawing this beautiful tree which I think it is one of the most fast shade trees that really if you are under this tree and it is 30 degrees outside if you sit underneath this plant or this tree, you will see that it is about seven degrees, six to seven degrees difference between underneath this tree and outside. Quercus calabrians, Balut Palestine. Um, a very nice story once happened to me when I was, uh, when I came in 87 from the States being a landscape architect. I got all these uh, fruits and I put them in my father's garden. And in a while, I found out that all these, I have more than 1,000 seedlings of Quercus calabrians because it almost propagates by itself. At one time, most of the region was covered with oaks, but unfortunately, at the time of the Ottoman Empire, when it was uh, in this part of the world, they have really cut most of these Quercus for woodwork and for the railroad. But I believe that it is a good plant to have, especially if you have big farms, it's good to have one or two of this plant and it's evergreen. There is another one here in our part of the world, but it is um, uh, another uh, deciduous plant, which is oak. Two oaks do, do live in our region, but I love to see this plant most of the time in farms and in big, uh, if you have 10 dunams of land, it's good to have the Quercus species. Quercus species. It's not fast growth. Uh, it, need, it doesn't need a lot of pruning, but it's good because the fruits of this, some of it is edible and some is not, but it's used heavily for uh, animal grazing because they use it as food. They crush it and um, they use it as food most of the time. And it has a lot of vitamins for the goat and the sheep. I love this plant, and most of the plant actually I love. Really, I don't know, but the Quercus species, the nice thing about the Quercus, there are hundreds and hundreds of, more than 300, 400 types of, uh, of uh, oaks in the States, and uh, you can find them uh, in the upper parts in, in, uh, in zone 9, 8, 7, and 8, uh, 7, 8, and 9 in the United States. The trunk, uh, the foliage of the trunk, it's a beautiful foliage. And most of the time it gets to about to a dark uh, black uh, tone uh, uh, trunk and uh, the branches. Uh, and, 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 if, and they usually you'll find it, it's, as a, it's, used, it's used as a good mulch. Again, when you draw, make sure that you do not over do it. Uh, uh, sometimes I add a touch of yellow just to make uh, the, the, the artistic look of, of the plant most of the time so you have it uh, somewhere around the shape. But here I am putting my blacks over the, the, the HB pencil that I was drawing uh, this afternoon. Again, Quercus calabrians. What is good about it? It's a shade, it's a specimen. 
uh, it's a street tree uh, sometimes you can use that but it has expansive root system so you have to be careful about it in some parts of the states at Louisiana State University Jamaat Louisiana Le Contadros Fiha you would be surprised that when I was a campus planner at one time uh, there was a, a rule that these plants are historic trees they are 200 300 years of age and they are always on the national register so it's like a protected uh, plant which means you cannot really uh, go underneath this tree and they tailor it with uh, you have to be careful when you are stepping underneath this tree quercus uh, ilex quercus michawi a lot of good trees uh, and sometimes you can find them uh, different species they go high this gets about in <clears throat> about eight to ten meters in width and about seven to eight meters in height and you can see there is a lot of good shade underneath this tree again when you deal with the corcuses now you can find them in the trade and you can buy them uh, with good mature size it's like nowadays in jordan you can find the olives in a mature big size and mostly uh, you can uh, really get them in good sizes if you'd like uh, again when we do the, the grounds it's much better to mix the grounds with a touch of uh, uh, of green and yellow so at least you will frame your picture and it looks now now we're gonna get to the balut nafsu lihu the small which is about it gets about four centimeters by about one and a half centimeter the color of it gets to about on the bluish on uh, sorry on the on the uh this is the color of the fruit and then uh, sometimes you will find this uh, surrounded again the the color of the leaf the leaf it's it's uh, it's about it's a thick dark green sometimes bluish color it's a thick leaf and you will see it is uh, like needles at the end of each leaf but here I will start to color the leaves and take my time coloring the leaves again Quercus Calibrians Palestinian live oak uh, and since we talk now today about Palestine and the people of Palestine just a few weeks back there was the memory of the an Nakba for our brothers in Palestine so again when you do your work and you do your artwork or your plants uh, by the way I'm doing all this for my new updated the new version of plants for Jordan the Middle East and I'm doing it in a new title that I'm adding about 30 or 40 more plants uh, to the new book with the new uh, paintings and a new information I think concerning this schedule that I have and I believe this will aid the landscape architects again landscape architects if you are a landscape architect you should know your plants you should really understand the value of reading uh, the plants of your region it is important to do that because once you do that, then you can master the art of uh, landscape design. It's not easy to be a landscape architect without knowing your plants. A lot of people say, well, I get a plant specialist. Yes, but you are an architect or you're a landscape architect. You need to know the value of how you shape or the plants shape your uh, thinking while designing. Again, I'll hear do my um, uh, small uh, touch of the I'm gonna come back do these uh, okay here we go I may come back a little bit here 
because you want to make this like it is really on one side I'll take the left side here and make it a little bit darker this is usually gets me uh, a depth for the tree now sometimes I tell my students how you draw the corcus the corcus you put it this is three you divide it you make a center line this is one third two thirds and this is about fifth and these are three and five portions so this way you can figure it out uh, how you're gonna uh, do your tree again here we come up and we did this uh, plant uh, and i hope you now uh, guys have uh, an idea of how to do the quercus species i left a little bit of uh, of whiteness here just make sure that when you finish the drawing you look at it you double check that you see that the leaves are about uh, five to six centimeters eight centimeters three centimeters in width and length is about six to eight centimeters uh, the fruit uh, uh, sometimes the fruit is propagate itself so you don't really get rid of the oaks the oaks in the mountainous region of jordan in the northern mountainous region of jordan and the middle uh, and sometimes you find it in the south but really you do you will find this palestinian live oak very slow growth stays in the shrubby stage for years native to hilly regions of the eastern mediterranean it's a typical tree for the red soil areas and i always said it's a shade it tolerates wind a lot it's drought resistant drought resistant it does not need a lot of watering at all it is uh, semi columnar in shape uh, loves alkaline spreads about 10 meters height six to seven meters this is the quercus calabrians the palestinian live oak thank you guys